Ask a Vet segment. We are talking about your pet's dental health. Dr. Jill is joining us live from Orangevale to tell us how poor oral hygiene can lead to more severe health issues. Good morning, Dr. Jill. Good morning, Paul and Simone. It's, it's actually National Pet Dental Month this month. And so we always like to celebrate by doing a segment so that people are aware about pets' dental health and how important it can be for your pet's overall health. You know, Jill, I mean, right away, I think dogs, and I only think dogs, and I, I'm assuming I'm wrong about that. You Absolutely. All pets that have teeth, it's important, right? Even your farm animals, sometimes it's important. Oh, sure. Cats as well. Really important to make sure your kitty cats have overall good dental health. You know, it's funny. I think of like bad breath. I kind of associate it with, <laughs> with my dog sometimes. But that can actually, breath can be indicative of a disease or of a problem. Is that correct? That's absolutely correct, Simone. You know, heart disease, kidney disease can also be part of the contributory factors to dental disease, bad breath sometimes diabetes or other diseases. There's some fantastic products out on the market now that I really like to use for my pet's overall health. And I want to make sure people know, I mean, check out Natalie Paul. She's getting way bigger, right? Oh, man, oh, but, man. Look at her. <laughs> but, but you want to make sure that you start them young so that they're used to you getting into their mouth and brushing their teeth. Let's see if, let's see if she'll let us do this. I actually waited to do this on camera to show people I know it's difficult. I have oh, all kinds yeah. of people that tell me it's so tough, but you want to use a little baby toothbrush for these little guys, right? Okay. And you just want to go in a really gentle circular motion. Okay, let her get used to it. She's, She's teething now patient. too. She's not too bad, but you know, I mean, some of these things, some of these little tricks or tips are great. I like to use this three-headed toothbrush for Diva, and I put a good tasting toothpaste on it. I want to make sure people know, do not use human toothpaste. It has xylitol in it, which is toxic to pets. Hey, but you said good tasting, by the way. Do they make them in roast beef and, you know, flavors <laughs> that a dog is interested in? They do make them in good flavors. Malted, mint, uh, poultry Cat flavor. Butter. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Just with it. No, I, I haven't found that one yet. I, I actually like this oral gel. It has an anti-inflammatory oh, yeah. aloe vera. That's it's cool. natural. It doesn't have any flavor, but it's really nice. You could use it and double up for cuts and wounds. Also, Glacier Peak makes a great colloidal silver that I'll mess with, like just spray on their teeth sometimes to take the smell out. But there's, look at all these varieties of things. I love these. You can get these at Whole Foods or some of your local vets. They're natural. You want to stay away from some of the products that have a lot of extra corn syrup in them or green, like some of those green products that are out there. Um, sometimes it can be rather fattening. But I also want to mention anesthetic-free dentals in the state of California are still legal. You want to check with your veterinarian to make sure that your pet's okay for that. They have to have a physical examination before sure. and after the actual dental. All right. You know, I know we just barely brushed the surface here uh, this time around, but we'll talk about it again, Dr. Jill. Thank you so much. Nice talking to you. Give the Thanks. pooches, yeah, give the pooches a smooch for us. Uh, if you want to schedule an appointment with Dr. Jill, it's easy. You can uh, check out her website, which is drjill.com, D-R-J-Y-L, or you can call her up. The number's there on your screen, 916-989-0738.